This is meditation video number 21. We're continuing our series on anger and fear and this one is on anxiety. Most of us have some form of anxiety and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you're anxious about getting to work on time that can help you to motivate you to actually get to work on time. Um, so if things need to be done, a little bit of anxiety doesn't really hurt. When anxiety is a problem is when you're anxious a lot of the time, uh, or you have panic reactions, uh, or that anxiety leads to anger or withdrawal or fear. Um, and so we need to look at anxiety in a little bit more depth. One of the things that um, happens is that your body immediately feels um, that anxiety. You get dryness of the mouth, you get sweating. Um, if you have a panic reaction you may even start stuttering or you may um, start feeling really stressed, getting red in the face. Um, all sorts of physiological reactions. And so the first thing that we need to do is to be mindful of our body's reaction to certain situations, especially those situations that lead to anxiety in, in some form or other. So that's step number one. Anxiety often runs in families. Um, Sometimes there is a genetic trait of a panic reaction to certain situations and that's okay because as we've discussed before, behavioral things that are genetic or hereditary can still be changed. Um, you can work on them and you can uh, change them, you can change the triggers and you can change the way that they affect you. And the way that we do this is by being mindful of, first of all, our body's reaction to those situations. But I think most of us see the emotional reaction that sometimes happens uh, when we're in a certain situation. Social situations are often difficult for many people and they create anxiety. They don't know what to say, they don't know how to act, and so they start, their body starts to change, their, their um, sweating, the reaction that happens. Uh, but then something else may happen. They may become angry. They may drink too much to try and overcome that anxiety. Um, we call it shyness, but it can be a, a sort of social anxiety. Being mindful of what is happening to you is really, really key. So let's talk for, um, for a little while about what we can do about this. Um, there are some very simple things that you can do to reduce anxiety. Uh, one of the things, for example, is just to take a long bath. Um, to use deep breathing exercises to go through some of the earlier uh, meditations in the series and to learn how to calm the body starting at the head or the toe and working through the entire body calming the muscles and so in that way we're dealing with the physiological reaction to the anxiety uh, and that is helping us. What we want to do for a longer term uh, solution for the anxiety problem is to begin to understand the process that is going on. What is triggering those negative thoughts? Because anxiety is all about negative thoughts. Uh, whenever we create a, an anxiety situation for ourselves, it's because those thoughts are arising and we're not even aware often of the, the fact that they're arising and that they're creating a level of anxiety. 
So the first thing to do is to become mindful, and to do that is to use mindfulness meditation. And mindfulness meditation in this context has been shown to be even more effective than using drugs. One of the problems of using drugs is that it gets rid of the physiological symptoms, but it doesn't deal with the underlying issue. So by using mindfulness, we can start to deal with the underlying issues by looking at what is triggering the thoughts. Well, this is only a helpful thing. It's not going to make you feel worse. It's going to make you feel better. And so using mindfulness meditation, going back to the earlier meditations, going through them, making notes in your meditation journal, and understanding that what is going on um, is very, very helpful. Uh, MRI studies and other scientific studies have shown that mindfulness meditation is perhaps the best way of dealing with feelings of anxiety. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to find out what those triggers are by meditating on the situation that developed. So first of all, we go back to the beginning. We relax the body. We do calming meditation. We go to that happiness place in one of the earlier meditations. And then out of that, we go to the meditations beyond that into a state of peace and serenity. And it is in that place of peace and serenity that we can begin to examine things like what, are, what is triggering uh, my anxiety what is triggering my panic reaction, what is triggering my shyness. Um, and so we're able to overcome those things, not by actively trying to shut them down, because all that does is convince us that in fact we have a problem. Mindfulness, on the other hand, actually helps you to understand that these feelings are really have no substance. They're just thoughts. And like other thoughts, you can deal with them. And you get to a certain point where those thoughts stop arising. And when the thoughts stop arising, those negative self-thoughts, then the anxiety disappears. So, be well. Be happy. Meditate.